Hi guys, my name is Robert Feranek, I'm from Fedevel Academy and today we are going to speak about net classes. Are net classes really so useful? Yes, they are useful. Let's have a look how they can make your life easier during layout process. Net classes will make it very easy to browse through your PCB. Just press one click you can select whole interface. Yeah, I can see all the signals in this SD card interface. I can see all the pins where SD card is connected. Press one click, I can see whole UART interface. And it's very useful for uh, things like memory layout, for example. See, this is a data bank, another data bank. This interface has not been routed yet, so it's not length match. But uh, when you do length matching, you can, for example, apply some rules on these net classes. So these are the benefits of using net classes. How we can do it? Let's say you would like to create a class, a group of signals, with all the signals which controls LEDs. It's, it's very simple. Have a look. Here we have a signal called user LED which controls this LED. So we would like to have this user LED signal in our new group, new class. So go place directives net class and place it on the net. Double click and here change this value to the name which you would like to use for the class. So let's say LEDs. Now when you go to design and update your PCB, you will see the difference. See, add net class, LEDs. So execute, close. Now I go to my PCB and here in the nets, I will be looking for the new class which we have just created. It's called LED. Here it is. And there is one signal. This one. User LED. Great. Now we can add more signals to the group. Go back to our schematic and let's say we would like to add also this signal because it controls LED so I just simply press select it copy so control C control V okay I double click just check the class name okay and there are also LEDs on Ethernet so here are the LEDs on Ethernet and this is a little bit different because sometimes you may have more signals which you would like to place into one class and you don't want to place this uh, net class on every single net it would be uh, it will not look very nice so you can use this they call it blanket place directives blanket now I draw it here and here I control V double click just check OK in the case you use this blanket you need to have a port inside the blanket or you need to have net name inside the blanket OK remember this it's important now I can go and update PCB. So we should have now how many signals in our LEDs class? Four signals. See, it will add the Ethernet signals and the Power OK signal. Execute changes. Go back to our PCB. Here is the group which we have created. Here are all the four signals in the group and now you can simply go through all the signals and 
check them. Now for experts only, you don't have to actually use this directive to specify net class. You can add a parameter to different directive to specify net class. For example, I use it a lot for differential pairs because when you specify differential pair, you always need to use differential pair directive, which is like this place directive differential pair. And you can add parameter here through this button add, you can add parameter class name with the net class name and then this signal will belongs to this class automatically so you don't have to place here this differential pair and net class name you can specify both in one directive only I believe you understand then uh, when you go to your PCB you will see your net class differential pair 90 differential pairs 100 now something really 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 important and a really advanced stuff if you would like to create differential pair class you need to use completely different way to do it these classes which are here are net classes and even I create a net class which is used for differential pairs like SATA it is still net class so these are individual signals and this class cannot be used in some special differential pair rules for this you will need to create a special differential pair class you go to differential pairs editor and you go to design classes here you find the differential pair classes which by the way you can create only from the PCB differential pair classes cannot be created in schematic right click add class right click rename let's say SATA and add the signals here okay we have it here this is the proper differential pair class so don't forget don't mix them together even I call them same way these three net classes are different from these classes which are here and they are different in the way how you can use them for the very simple stuff you just need to know everything about the net classes and for the advanced things for all the advanced hardware design engineers they also will need to create the differential pair classes If you like this video, don't forget to check out our Federal Academy website. You can find there a lot of free hardware design videos and some other information. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.